Jamal James versus Radzab Butayev. Who do y'all think is going to win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing. And please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So uh, to those who don't know, uh, James, Jamal James and Butayev will be fighting this weekend, this Saturday on the 30th of October over in Vegas to be shown live on Showtime starting at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Eastern Time. What's up with these late times, bro? Come on, Showtime's so late. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, uh, WBA regular uh, welterweight title will be on the line, which Jamal James will be defending in this fight. To those who don't know who Jamal James is, he is, like I said, he's the WBA regular champion. The super champion is your Dennis Ugas. Jamal James has a record of 27 wins, 1 loss, 12 wins coming by way of knockout TKO coming up a win against Thomas Delorme last year, back in August of last year. It's been more than a year since he last fought. And uh, his only loss, if you're wondering, was against your Danis Ugas 5 years ago. It's been 5 years now. Wow, time flies fast. But yeah, Jamal James is now here fighting Radzab Butayev, a 27-year-old fighter from Mother Russia, uh, currently residing in Brooklyn, New York, 13-0. 10 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. He has a 1 0 contest fight against Alexander Besputin when they fought in Monte Carlo. Uh, it was a close competitive fight, in my opinion. And in the end, Besputin won the fight by unanimous decision, but he tested positive for a banned substance, which led to the fight being ruled a no contest. And so Butayab remains undefeated and is coming off a win against Terry Chatwood back in December of last year, where he won by knockout in round number three. Uh, so yeah, the both fighters haven't been that active. Both fighters, um, you know, hasn't fought at all so far this year. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe COVID. I don't know. But here they are fighting for the regular title. Who will win this fight? And I'm telling right now, in my opinion, it's going to be a close competitive fight. But I'm leaning towards the challenger. I'm leaning towards Butayev. I feel like Butayev has the skill set, the footwork, um, the power speed uh, to to uh frustrate jamal james you know i see jamal james using his height and reach as an advantage in this fight um but i think the the elusiveness of uh, the python butayev will be a little bit too much for ja uh, jamal james i don't think Jim J jamal james has been in there against somebody who moves like butayev and i think butayev will surprise uh, a lot of people um uh, uh, this weekend it will be close though I'm, I'm not gonna lie i think it will be a close competitive fight but i think butayev will win six out of you know not six uh eight out of four eight out of four i think the first half will be competitive but as the fight goes on i think uh, butayev um will will uh you know pick him apart uh i think james has a good chin so i don't think he's gonna get knocked out um but it should be an interesting one i'll definitely be tuning in uh this weekend i don't know why at 10 p.m though come on showtime 10 p.m eastern time I just came from the West Coast, man. It feels nice watching over there, man. I watched the Jamal, J uh, not Jamal, um, Jamal Charlo, uh, not Jamal. Oh my goodness, I'm messing up all these names. Uh, the uh, Shakur Stevenson versus Herring fight. I, I recently I watched that over in the West Coast, and uh, man, for it to end at 10 p.m. felt nice. <laughs> anyway, Jamal James losing this fight by close decision, eight rounds to four in favor of Butayev, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for... Oh, by the way, if you guys don't know, there's like a tournament going on. The WBA, uh, you know, has this fight ordered. And they also ordered Ugas to fight uh, Stanionis. So the winner of this fight will fight Stanionis. But right now, Ugas has problems with the WBA. I have yet to make a video about that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.